Hi again, Marlin Knights. Well, it looks like it's official. Uh, we knew it was coming, obviously, but we've now got the figure for the reverse stock split. That being that it's going to be uh, 100 uh, existing Marlin shares will be converted into one. Uh, so it's like what I was kind of predicting. It was actually like the, quite the extreme end of uh, the reverse stock split. It's good in a sense that um, it's going to remove a lot of liquidity in the stock. Uh, so, you know, it's going to be hard for, you know, short selling uh, and things like that. But at the same time, when you have lower liquidity, it means that you can have more dramatic price swings. So, you know, we're used to seeing the stock nudge down by one or two cents at a time, whereas now you might start seeing that being more 10, 20, 30 cents at a time, quick, sharp movements, at least while the price is elevated. Um, so... The one good thing that might come out for some shareholders, it's not that good really, but it's a bit of like a, a faint silver lining, is that if you have fractional shares, uh, according to what Marlon has put out, it means you're actually going to be rounded up a share, which isn't always the case. Sometimes in reverse stock splits, they might compensate shareholders. Sometimes they just like have them disappear. So, you know, there is some consolation. So if you own a single share in Marlon today, which is worth 10 cents, tomorrow you're going to have one share worth $10. So... I don't know. Um, it's it's like a bit of a not a great situation, obviously. But um, you know, if you've got one of those little marginal shares, you might actually see your holding just bump up ever so slightly. Uh, still, ten dollars isn't like a big deal. But you know, in this economy, it's all all important. Um, yeah. So what we'll probably see tomorrow is whatever the closing price is today. So right now, it's sitting at about ten cents per share. Uh, that means if you multiply it by 100, you're going to get $10. So the opening price is going to be sitting around $10 per share tomorrow. Uh, yeah, and just to give you a bit of an illustration of how this liquidity changes. Uh, so right now, the market cap's sitting at about $42 million for Marlin Automotive, uh, which I, I don't know the, the figure about saying shares off the top of my head, but you can kind of work out that it's about um, 400 and. 20 million Mullen shares are in uh, circulation. After tomorrow, there will only be 4.2 million shares in circulation. So that's a huge drop. And that's what happens when you do a 100 for one reverse stocks. But obviously, it's all proportional. People are going to own less shares. But um, yeah, it does actually, it does a lot to like block up the liquidity. I've said this all along that, you know, when Mullen enacted that second reverse stock split earlier this year, they should have gone much higher. This is the move they should have made then, which would have, you know, removed this need to have done it a third time and means that people's holding would be, you know, at least share count would be seven times higher than it was going to be after today. So had they done a one for 100 back then, we wouldn't be in this mess that we're in now. Uh, we would have had this like pain back then, but, you know, given all that's gone on with the production, what should have been positive news, this would have flown through to um, the stock. And, you know, I, I actually think the stock might have been in a better shape than it is right now because rather than being able to celebrate the milestones we were meeting in terms of production and vehicle deliveries, uh, we're all just tied up talking about like, oh, no, we're back below a dollar. We're going to get delisted, et cetera, et cetera. So there we go. Um, the tough thing is that now that they've gone for one, they go one for 100. Uh, means that if they do happen to go back below the dollar for, I think it's like 30 consecutive tra trading days, uh, in the next 12 months, they won't have any um, any room for a further stock split, reverse stock split, except once they get past the date of the, the last one, because then they're back under that one for 225 in the past 12 months. So that's kind of where everything sits right now. Um, obviously, in terms of the market reaction to this, it hasn't been great. I think there was a bit of anticipation that it might be a, a, a smaller reverse stock split. Uh, I heard rumors of one for 25 at various points, but I don't know. They weren't really found. I just heard people saying them or saw people saying them. Uh, but once the announcement came out from Mullen, there was a slightly sharper drop in, in the stock. And we're floating down around all-time lows at the moment, which, again, not totally surprising. Um, and once the stock splits tomorrow, I wouldn't be surprised if there is a little bit more um, of a, you know, a drop away in the stock, uh, at least initially in the first day or so. Uh, however, I wouldn't be surprised if there is actually a little bit of a bounce following that. Not saying it's going to bounce back to $10, but um, it could. On another take of this whole situation, we might actually see the stock bounce once it gets to $10 because, you know, it's now way above the $1 mark and we are kind of that little bit closer to regaining NASDAQ compliance. 
Uh, I think any real sort of stabilization in the stocks likely to come after January 22, when um, you know, NASDAQ compliance has been hopefully regained. Yeah. Um, anyway, so yeah, give me your reactions to the stock uh, reverse stock split. Were you surprised that they went one for 100? Were you expecting a lower figure? Um, where do you see the stock being come January 22? Do you think it's going to be still up around that $10 mark? Do you think it's going to regain some of its ground? Or do you think there's going to be you know, just further uh, erosion? And what's your plans? Are you going to, are you just ditching? Are you washing your hands in Marlin Automotive now? Or are you, you know, looking, seeing this as an opportunity to perhaps uh, jump back in at a bit of a discount? Uh, share your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, always love to hear from you guys. Uh, hopefully the rest of the day and the week goes well for Marlin Automotive and you guys personally. Until next time, everyone, may the markets trade in your favor. Cheers.